Jeff, pull that mic a little bit closer to you so we can all hear you. And thanks so much okay. for coming in. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. How long have you been singing? Well, I grew up singing myself. Uh, I was raised Episcopalian, and I was a, in a boys' and men's choir in Lakewood, Ohio, growing up. Mm -hmm. And then I sang all through high school and college, uh, got a degree in music education with a voice major. And Do you uh, teach? I have taught. I'm retired right now, but I have taught high school, and I was the director of choral activities at Fairmont State University for 21 years and retired, moved to Martinsburg in 2010. All right, let's, let's try something here. Bill, let me hear your best uh, best uh, tenor voice here. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start you, you off with you this. You should probably ask some of my singing mm. stories first. <laughs> I'm not going there. My wife will turn the radio off and run. You if just I start ask singing. me why I never ask you to sing on the show. <laughs> well, I can give you a thousand reasons why you don't ask me. <laughs> if you want the most tone-deaf person in the room, that's me. Is that you? Well, <laughs> you and I are close. I, so okay. I appreciate you know what you can do because it's I have no... I don't have the ability to sing whatsoever. <laughs> We're all great admirers of those yeah. who can sing. Mm -hmm. Well, my Berkeley Community Chorus is all volunteers. Um, we do audition twice a year, but the audition is mainly just to check voice ranges. Um, we have some people who don't read music. We have uh, a couple of folks who have been professional singers. So uh, it's a very wide-ranging group. Uh, the only paid person is our accompanist. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not paid myself. Uh, I founded the group in 2012 because uh, I thought there might be a need here in the city of Martinsburg and in Berkeley County. Um, a lot of cities in the country about our size have community bands, community orchestras, community choirs. Um, there are several of those in the area, Winchester, Hagerstown, Shepherdstown, of course, with the university there. Um, so we've been in existence since 2012 and are celebrating our 10th anniversary this year. Tell me about the May 20 show. The May 20 show is in honor of our military. So it's Armed Forces Day on May 20th. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the main focuses of this concert, it's called Americana. That's our theme. So we're going to especially invite all of the area active reserved, retired veterans to come to the concert and be recognized while we sing patriotic songs and all of the service songs. So we're doing the Quezon song for the Army, Anchors Away for the Navy, the Air Force song, Off We Go Into the Wild Blue Yonder. Um, the Coast Guard, we have a, a, have a song. We have a unit here. They have a song. It's not often known. It's called mm -hmm. Semper Paratus, which means always ready. Awesome. Yeah. Right. yeah. So that's there. We're going to recite the Pledge of Allegiance, do the national anthem. So that's one of the main parts of our program. The rest of it is American folk songs. Um, such as? Such as Nellie Bly, um, Black is the Color of My True Love's Hair, uh, Skip to My Lou, um, some other songs that may be not as well known by mm -hmm. American composers. So that's the... The focus of the program. We'll have some instruments involved also, along with the piano. How many members octopus. of your chorus are there? Well, right now, we're at a little bit of a low spot. We're trying to come back from the pandemic, mm -hmm. actually. A lot, of, a lot of groups, churches and what have you, lost some membership in the course of those two years when we were all not functioning. Um, so right now, we are 25 or 30. We've had a max of about 40 members. Um, but there's, it's a volunteer group, so there's some coming mm -hmm. and going. People move away, uh, change jobs, which prevents sure. them from coming to rehearsals. What time does the show start on the 20th, and how much does it cost to go? It starts at 7.30 at the Apollo Civic Theater. Uh, the cost of admission at the door is $15 for adults, $10 for senior citizens and veterans, uh, and kids 12 and under get in for free. Very good. Billy. Yeah, talking about the uh, the songs for the various uh, military units, uh, 
I was in the Navy, then I went to the 7th Uniform Service, National Engineering Atmospheric Administration, which is similar to the other, uh, the Armed Forces. We had a song commissioned once. I listened to it one time and said, I never want to hear it again. So, <laughs> so it, there's a song out there for Noah, but I would ask you not to recover it. It was, it was, it was bad. <laughs> Anish. I guess I'm glad I don't know that one yeah. then. <laughs> and I took some responsibility for commissioning. That was before I actually heard the song. It was the, the, that one, huh? yeah. So Jeff, you said you said it's a volunteer group. Um, where where do you all meet, and and how do people get involved if if you know they're curious about joining the group? That's a great question. Um, we meet right now at St. John's Lutheran Church in downtown Martinsburg, okay, yeah. uh, the corner of Martin and Queen Streets, and we rehearse on Tuesday nights from seven to nine p.m. Um, the audition, as I said, is, is just mainly so I can get an idea of what a voice sounds like and then the vocal range. So I put you in the soprano, alto, tenor, bass section. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So those announcements are made in the journal newspaper on our Facebook page and our website, which is www.burkcomchorus.org. Okay. With St. John's, I assume uh, Joe Brookson's part of your group. I don't know, Joe. Oh, no, okay, obviously he's not. Feel free to invite him to come. Oh, he's good. He's got a wonderful <laughs> voice. Got a wonderful voice. Yeah, so. yeah, great. Yeah, well, like like many choirs, um, we we need men. Mm -hmm. Yes. More than women. Jeff, how much of the ability to sing is God-given, and how much of it is coachable? Everybody can sing. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people say, I can't sing, I can't carry a tune. Everybody can sing, actually, and everybody is, is coachable. Um, there's this very small percentage of folks who are what we would call tone deaf. And yeah, actually, that's me. Yeah, and, I, and I'm in that same category. Yeah. Can't, can't match pitches, yeah. but there's yeah. a yeah. far greater majority of folks who think that's true, yeah. and it really it's not. isn't. Sure. So what's, what's the difference between the average shower singer and, and you? What, what, is, what are the things that the average shower singer isn't doing well that you could coach? Uh, I, there's some really good folks singing in the shower, I think, that mm -hmm. don't, don't actually know how good their voices are. Um, coaching in, involves mostly uh, techniques of breathing and placement of the voice so that, that uh, you can produce a good tone quality and maybe extend your range either up or down. Um, and then there's aspects of uh, how to use your voice for different styles of singing. So you, you have a coach or a, a teacher, and it kind of depends on what sort of repertoire you want to perform. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a country singer, uh, that's going to be a lot different, obviously, than an opera sure. diva. Sure. Yeah. So, so Jeff, how, how do people in the community get in touch with your group if they want you to perform um, you know, at, at an event that they have? I mean, do, do you do things like that? Are you busy throughout the year as a group? Um, right now, we mainly do two performances a year. Mm -hmm. uh, we sing in December uh, on the second Saturday of December and a spring concert on the third Saturday of May. Okay. Um, so that that's pretty much what we're doing now. Sure, sure. And I'm sure it takes a lot of practice and a lot of coordination, you know, to pull those off. So I was just curious if this was, you know, something that, um, that, that you all did kind of on the fly, but I would imagine with people coming in and out and, and not knowing uh, what the group might look like, that it takes a lot of coordination. Yeah, we, we mainly, because of people working, although we do have a, a, a number of retired folks, uh, just trying to get everybody together um, so that we make the kind of sound that we're used to. Sure. Um, now, there was one other thing I, I would like to bring up, and that sure. is as far as rehearsals go, um, on those Tuesdays from 7 to 9, I forgot to mention that we rehearse for 10 weeks and then do the concert. Mm -hmm. So that in the spring and in the fall, it's it's just a commitment for 10 weeks of each of those two seasons. It's not year-round. Year um, Jeff, I'll make a deal with you, buddy. Your December concert, are you singing Christmas songs? Absolutely. I, I will put, you can have a, at least a half an hour on this show to do a concert live on this show if you want it. That would be fantastic. In December, let's let's get together. All right. Right. Bring your chorus. We will entertain the masses. We might be able to all get in here. I, I hope we get. <laughs> we'll, a lot. we'll squeeze you in. We'll get you in here. I if hope, I got to kick yeah, Bill I'll out, be, I'll get I'll you. Be, in. I'll, I'll be gone. <laughs> uh, Jeff, the show is on uh, May the twentieth, seven thirty at the Apollo. How do you get tickets? You get tickets uh, at the door. 
Very admission nice. at the door. Nothing in advance, right? Nothing in advance. All right. Greg, hey, thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Let's thanks, stay man. in touch about December. I'm serious about okay, that. Okay, we will do. All right. Yeah, Jeff awesome. Poland, the Berkeley Community Course.